Hey there, my crafty friends. Welcome to Sandy's Creative Connection. Hope you enjoy this card with the wonderful romance suite. Here, let me show you some of the products. So let's look at this. This is a piece of grapefruit vellum. You probably can't see it. Let me get some white behind it. So this is the grapefruit vellum. Beautiful. You got a piece of wood on one side and then this really pretty green on the other. This is vellum. Look how pretty. And I think there's one, uh, this green, this side, and on this side is this. All right, so what I wanted to show you guys is the framelits too in this suite because they're a little unusual. So we have this nice oval. We have some leaves. Now looking at that, you're thinking, okay, it's going to cut out everything. Well, it's not. It cuts the leaf shape and leaves an embossed image there. Now this is a framelit, so it's meant to, you're meant to stamp on it and then um, that framelit cuts it out. Same with this. This one um, cuts it out. This one cuts it out and also embosses a little bit. And then we have smaller leaves doing the same thing. Then we have this big guy. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and stamp because I need it for my card. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze all that together. So let me go ahead and just stamp it and then I'll show you how how they all cut out. So what I'm using is, um, I'm gonna use some alcohol markers tonight. So I'm using just Mossy Meadow. And remember, you have to use opposites with um, alcohol, you use watercolor, watercolor, you use alcohol. Meaning if you do watercolor painting, you got to have alcohol or stays on. If you use alcohol markers, you got to use watercolor, which is Mento, or any of our colors, of our classic pads. So... All right, so I'm going to put this one. I want him to stay pretty much because there's a lot of detail going on. So I put a couple of post-it notes on there. All right, and then the last thing of this framelits are these little tiny flowers. You get four of them. So it cuts out this little guy and what's nice is you can do a bunch at once so i just don't need them let's see all right so let's run this through the big shot and let's see what we get because i want to show you what each piece does when it cuts out okay let's see what we got Okay, so this this leaf here, look, see how it, it, it cut it out, but then it put these little uh, leaf veins in there. This one, it cuts the shape, but then see how it puts little the little veins in there. So that's kind of cool. And of course, there's several different sizes of these leaves, and they all put the little veins. One, this is a nice one for words, and I'm, I need that for my net, for my card. So, and this guy should have uh, stamped something, but I can I can come back and do it. You know, I can save it and put it in my stamparatus. I will make it work. All right, so this piece, I'm going to go ahead and pull all my little post-it notes off regular pads because we can use them with alcohol so i'm going to start off with the light get it soaked pretty good oh this is light um 
um, light soft uh, sea foam. And the reason why I picked that was because that's one of the colors in that suite. So then I'll come in with this guy and pop in some shadows. Yep. And one more time, I'll run over with the light just to kind of blend it. So the other colors I'm going to use are Calypso Coral because my base is um, grapefruit. And, you know, they're kind of cousins. They sit big, big brother, big sister. They work well together. So this is the light Calypso Coral going to go over it. Then I'm going to come in with the dark and just add a little bit of dark. And come in with the nub. Okay, and then finally I picked um, this bla a light Blackberry Bliss just because there's a, a fresh fig, but I don't have that marker, so I'm going to use this one. Cool. There we go. All right, so that's done. This is my words, and I like these words off this stamp set. I am going to use, um, nope, it's thinking of you. I'm going to get this straight. I like the font. So here's the card. And here's the magic. It's a ribbon slider card. All right, so let me show you how I did that. I need um, you need a piece of sea foam, a piece of grapefruit grove. Of course, we've done already some of the white. Um, this is pieces of the vellum out of the D designer series paper that I have just cut. Thank you, Karen. So I, I'm just going to grab and cut those. I need that one. And I'll cut them. I'll fussy cut them. And I think I'll grab this one. And I'm just fussy cutting. All right, there's that one. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to cut a few more of those but let me show you the mechanism. So that's my base. Oh, yep, that's a good piece. Now this next one is the grapefruit and and then I'm going to um score it at five and a half just to get it to fold. Just to get a good fold on it. Now I'm going to cut off a quarter of an inch. Get up there. Now the next thing I'm going to do, um, I want to put some tear tape here and here. And when you do this, get it as close to the edge as you can. Need some there. And you need some there. Okay. Pull off my tape. All 
All right, I'm going to close this down. So I don't know if you noticed, but this is embossed. So that's the next step. And I use this, the lace, of course, this thing, I'm telling you, driving me crazy. And I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. So there you go. I've got my little pocket. In order to get this whole sliding mechanism, you put the three inch piece in there and you punch a hole through all of it, just like that. And bear with me, this seems very silly. I'm gonna turn that over like we didn't stamp on it. And I'm gonna line up the holes. So do you see that I lined up, how I lined up the hole? I'm gonna take a post-it note. Yeah, I'll work out all the kinks. All right, then, then next you need about an 18 inch piece of Baker's twine and it needs to be thin, don't get thick. And you're gonna run it through all of it. Can you see what I'm doing? And I'm just tying a bow on the end, removing my post-it note, and then I'm gonna make sure it works. So see, it just slides right in there. You pull the ribbon, okay? Now I'll stamp, I'll do it again. Well, you know what? This works out really better because now I'll get the words down where they're supposed to be, where people can read them, where before they couldn't read them. So there we go. Let me get my leaves in there. It's therapy, right? Stamp off a little bit. I'm messing up my pretty grid paper. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. So there you've seen the mechanism. And the thing now is you want to pro hide the hole. So that piece that I did earlier... It's gonna go here, and then I'm gonna pop the words up. And when you put this down, make sure you do not cover up that hole because it won't slide if there's any type of, if you glue it down, you know, if your dimensional ends up on it or something. So you really have to pay attention and put your dimensional where that is not. Do that. I gotta glue this guy down. A flappy, and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. I think this is gonna go here. I gotta cut another one. And I don't know, did you guys see those gold seals that are a part of this suite? I can remember as a kid, my sister, I loved playing with it too, and she'd get so PO'd at me. Anyways, you take the glue, the candle, and then you had this seal maker, and you'd order in the seal, and then so every time you wrote a letter, you put this, this seal down. When the, you'd heat the candle, the wax would melt on the envelope, and then you'd press the seal into it. That was the beginning of my paper crafting. And my sister got so PO'd because I'd use her stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so here's these seals. Now, I have found that they're not very sticky. 
The first one I tried to put down, they look like they have sticky on there. And I'll go back and make sure there's no reason why it shouldn't be sticky. And then I'm going to put that down there. All right, so why I left the, the flap up is because I wanted to punch, um, cut out some of the framelits using vellum, just plain old vellum, plain old, our usual vellum. So I'm gonna cut one of those. I wanna cut one of these. I'll do all these little leaves. So let me get all my leaves. So there's one. It's out. Look how nice. You guys won't be able to see it once I put it on the card. There's that one doesn't really have any scoring on it, but it's cute. Okay, and then all my other little leaves. So there you go. Some directions on this card. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just take some glue dots with these little with these leaves, these clear vellum leaves, and I'm just going to just give it some depth. Where am I going to do that? Right there. That's where I'm going to do that. So see why I didn't glue that center down? I don't know, maybe I won't get that one in there. There we go. All right, so there's all my pieces of vellum in the back. I mean, it looks very elegant when you get done with them. All right, so I'm going to put some rhinestones. We need a little rhinestone on there. And I'm just going to put them on the three flowers. And one. Probably even do those little gold pearls. I bet you that would be pretty on there. Okay, so there's that. Now the final step is to glue this all down on its base. And I just flop it over. And I'm gonna use tear tape. Just because people will be tugging this to get it open. A lot. Okay, so this is soft sea foam. Why does it look like it's not cut right? Okay, I'm gonna line it up. And this soft sea foam is four and a quarter by five and a half. All right, there you go. You pull the little uh, little ribbon and it pops out. Push it back in. So that's why you kind of have to build it durable because people will be playing with that. Pulling it out and popping it back in. And you may even want to put a little pull on there. I don't know. But right, there you guys go. have a good evening. And I will see you Wednesday or the following Wednesday. All right. Bye. <laughs>